Get on, Marcus. Oh! Run, 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 run. You take it all day, bud. What's up, guys? Chris with Silverback Performance. And today is going to be our first episode on our new podcast. Uh, we're not quite sure what the name of the podcast is going to be, but we're going to focus on uh, talking to athletes and people in the community and people that we think have bright futures and are going to be uh, doing big things in life. So today I have my guy, my man, Marcus McMillan. Yes, sir. Thank you for, for being with me on uh, on our first podcast. Good to see you. So, uh, so Marcus, go ahead. Let, let's start with uh, introducing yourself and telling the world um, something about yourself. How old are you? Uh, how many brothers and sisters you might have? And, and uh, just a little bit about you. All right, so I'm Marcus McMillan. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Harker Heights, Texas. I have two brothers, Kai and Corey. I was raised by both of my parents in Harker Heights since maybe first grade, just the first grade. And it's just, it's great to be here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's important to note that both of his parents are, are veterans, yeah. and they served a, a good amount of time in in the the U.S. Army. I think his dad was a Marine too, no? Yeah, he was. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, his dad is Luke. Jack guy, cool guy, a really, really good uh, person. And I'm glad that he uh, brought you over here to the facility. I think um, it was a, a good thing for, for both of us and everybody around. So, all right. So how, how was high school baseball? What was it like playing Harker Heights, in a, I guess, in this area? Um, it wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. We've had some good competition when it came to, like, going to the playoffs and stuff. My high school team, I think they went to the playoffs every year. Every year I was in high school. So I'm not going to – it's a successful program. Um, and I will say, yeah, it did help me get to where I am now. And yeah, I wouldn't trade it for a world. I made some of my best friends there and good coaching. So, What about select? Did you ball. like dabble into the select world too while, while you were in high school? Yeah, I played select ball since maybe um, eighth grade. I started a lot later than a lot of some people did, I think seventh grade. But um, select ball isn't bad. I think select ball can be good for youth play baseball players especially when it comes to like developing their skills and getting to play against other people like their competition level. But yeah, I like select ball. Cool, it's good. cool. What's your favorite, uh, I guess, so you're an outfielder. Mm -hmm. um, I think you could probably play the infield pretty well too. Yeah. But you're so fast. Uh, I think Marcus runs what, a 6'3", yes. 6'3", 60, 60 yard. And uh, he's throwing upper upper 80s from the outfield um, with a power bat. I think that, uh, I think that like right at your senior year, you really started getting your groove on, on like especially the power aspect of it, and that, that's something that a lot of people tend to want to rush. Uh, but you worked hard. You you you've been working hard before I met you, and you you worked hard as soon as you got in here too. So I think that was something that that really helped you out. Uh, we made a couple of little, little tweaks with your mechanics, but it wasn't nothing. Uh, nothing, I would say big. I think it was more of like understanding those things and feeling it. Yeah. And uh, you you did you did great with that. So, uh, what about um, like your weight training and things like that? What what did it look like? I guess from the time you were like fourteen to all the way to like now that you're in college as a freshman. So I said I think I started lifting weights like eighth grade. I started going to the gym with my dad and stuff. And probably from like eighth to ninth grade, it was a lot of a lot of hypertrophy stuff, a lot of bodybuilding stuff. But after that, I kind of I kind of like got a better mind and started thinking more athletic based training and that also gained a lot of a lot of knowledge from coming here too and learning things and more of like athletic based weight training cool. like olympic lifts and stuff yeah i mean we got coach mia if you guys don't know her you need to check her out uh she does a great job at teaching the, the athletes uh the olympic lifts and things like that so uh if if you have a chance to do any kind of work with her especially in terms of, of weightlifting. And all those Olympic lifts, she's definitely a monster. I think that uh, our biggest focus with the athletes is that they're well-rounded and that they can, uh, they understand what to do physically and also on the field, whether it's pitching or hitting. So uh, those things will always help them out and uh, it'll take them to another level. But yeah, I think I think you, you're right with that. Um, so what college are you going to now and, and uh, how's your experience been? I know, I know you haven't played yet, it's coming up in a couple of weeks, but so far as a as a freshman coming in, what do you what do you think uh, about it so far? Uh, it's a good school. There's a lot of history there. It's Texas College. It's a HBCU in Tyler, Texas. But um, I'm looking forward to it. It's my first college season. 
So of course we're gonna have high hopes. Um, it's been kind of a struggle this beginning part of the year, just cause um, it's a I think it's a young team, a really young team. So we've had having trouble meshing, but I think I like to thank some of the older members of the team for helping us kind of gel and bond more, which I think will help us a lot more when it comes to later in the season, in the middle of the season. Yeah, I mean it's a new experience, so no matter no matter what happens. You, you guys are all, I guess, like you said, learning to mess with each other. And um, the biggest thing is going to be how do you guys handle, I guess, uh, when you don't do so well. And, and, and that'll really make or break a team. But once you guys do that, I think it'll be it'll be a good good experience for you. Um, so you're going to be playing the outfield. you obviously probably going to hit lower in the lineup. We don't know, really. Coaches have their own game plan of what they want to do. But uh, what what are some of your dreams, and what do you think you you want to do either in sports or just as as an adult, a young man that you are now? So my overall goal is to play baseball professionally. If that is the MLB, minor leagues, independent ball, it just really depends where you know where the, like where the chips fall yeah. when it comes to stuff like that. But um, yeah, I just plan to go as far as I can in baseball. And academically, what, what academically. is it that you want to study? Or you're studying now? So right now, I'm studying business but I'm hoping to transfer and either study kinesiology or mechanical engineering. It's a, a good good future in that. So, um, anything you want to ask me or anything you want to talk about specifically? I mean, um, I think uh, oh, we, we definitely enjoy having you here, the energy that you bring into the facility. I think that uh, you, you push a lot of the kids that are here, uh, especially obviously your boy Cole. Yeah. Um, and it's always cool when the younger ones see you guys and they really uh, look up to you. And I think you do a, a great job at, at being a good role model for them and showing them the, the work ethic and what it takes to, not only that, but just to be a, a good a good person because uh, you're really humble. And I, like I told you in the beginning, I had to tell you like, hey, Marcus, smile. Like you got a, a, a big, beautiful smile. So you gotta you gotta be that person and, and let that, that smile shine. So uh, yeah, what you got for me? Any questions so far? Uh what keeps you going like day to day when it comes to the facility and your job and stuff? So uh, for me, it's always been about uh, being able to enjoy one, the day with the kids. So you guys come in here and I always try to try to remind myself personally that like for some of these, especially younger athletes, and, and I can only guess like somebody that's older, um, they might be in school all day long thinking about coming over here. So for me, it's like, how can I make that experience something where it's cool to them? Like, hey, I'm going to the facility um, and we're going to hang out with Coach Chris and everybody else. I'm going to see Marcus. I'm going to see all the other kids. And and at the end of the day, it's about the growth. Like I've told you guys in the past, it's not so much about uh, where you play or anything like that. Um, eventually, you're going to be a grown man and you're going to have to learn how to how to deal with other people in society and you're going to have to see what kind of role you could play in that. So for me, it's, it's definitely, I think the biggest thing I always say, I get paid by watching you guys grow. Uh, I think that's the coolest thing as a coach. I get to see you guys from a really young age and watch you guys develop into these young men that are, are, are the future, really. So that's uh, what drives me. So, um, Guys, that was our first podcast. We're going to try to do this a little bit more consistently. We're working on doing it at least once a week for now. I think that um, for me, this will be the last time I see Marcus until either I go to see him play at his games or um, he comes back down to, to home. So um, Marcus, thank you again for coming on. It's great being here. Much love for you. Yes, sir. Um, and we wish you nothing but the best always. Thank so uh, I'm, I'm glad that God has put you in our, our path and that uh, I've been able to, I guess, help you out while I have you in front of me. So thanks again.